What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Spirit Baby Kill. I'm back with another aligned message. So whoever sees this, if you come across this, this message has no um, set date, time, space, so it's timeless. So if you come across it, nine times ten is probably meant for you. So let's dive into it today. I'm gonna do it a little different. I'm gonna most likely pull one or two of my ascended master um, spiritual guide cards out to see what energy we send in as far as this reading and then lay out the cards they line the cards with the ascended master oracle so let's get into it so everything's for the highest good harmony none with the most benevolent outcome they're calling all my spiritual guys absolute source jesus christ all our angels our benevolent ancestors and any other animal totems or benevolent spirit guides or beings that are willing to help us today with this guidance, this message, any energy, healing, anything that needs to be clear out, let's let it happen during this message. <laughs> so let's bring us some healing, guidance, truth, no deception, no trickery. Let's get into it. So we finna see who wants to communicate to us through this message today. Like I do, I do, I do. Everybody. I do, I do. Mahavartar Babaji, soul expansion. I don't know who this is. I have to look into him after I get off of here. Mahavartar Babaji, soul expansion. Your consciousness is expanding. You understand that the connection between you understand the connections between all things. So it is like it's sending in Rada Soul Flame. Mm. Rediscover a lost part of yourself. Experience relationship, harmony, and healing. So Rada Soul Flame and Mahavarti Mahavartar Babaji Soul Expansion. So we hear some energy right now. You expanding and you connecting with them lost parts of yourself so you can be able to experience the right relationships, the right healing, the right little rada. So we're gonna read on them in a minute. Soul expansion and soul healing. The Queen of Pentacles jumped. She's like, hey me. <laughs> so then trying to shuffle so fast. Queen of Swords. Mm. Effectively communicating. As your soul and your spirit is healing, communicating to those people that you might need to cut off, communicating to those people that might need to know that you ain't on the same type of time. Communication. Clear communication. Ooh. Transitions as your soul expands and as your, you re rediscover lost parts of yourself, you're being guided through these transitions, through these deaths and rebirths, as you would say. Ooh, Eight of Swords. Tangled energy. And the last is the moon. So we just going to go with the moon. I've been getting the moon a lot lately. Okay. So we're going to start out with these, the city masters. We had Mahavarti Babaji. I gotta learn that name so perfectly because at the moment I don't think I'm saying it right. <laughs> Soul expansion. Your consciousness is expanding. You understand the connections between all things. Mahavartar means great incarnation or avatar, and Babaji means sacred father. Mahavartar Babaji is a deeply respected master yogi who was introduced to the world through the teachings of the Indian yogi Pramahansa. Oh, pra. Mahanza Yoga Under. Babaji, as he's called for short, is said to be over 2,000 years old and able to travel between Earth and other worlds. He's said to have an invisible temple in the Himalayas that can appear to those he wants to connect with. Many believe that he is Christ like himself, bringing deep love, acceptance, forgiveness, insight, and direction. You may feel that you've retreated from the world recently. Mm, maybe you've not been as actively socially or spiritually, but the time of interest has really paid off. You are becoming more and more consciously aware of how connected you are to God and all living beings. This sense of union is called yoga. Yoga goes beyond physical ability and into a sense 
of awareness that's created through spiritual practice, meditation, and devotion to the divine. Mahavartar Babaji, the yogic father, is here to inspire the fire of union, Radna, the fire of union within you so that you can understand how your thoughts and actions are creating the ways of energy that form your life. Mm. So deeper understanding of your traumas, your thoughts, actions, how they connect into a lot. Wow. It said your inner flame, and then I, I feel like Radha. That's all she about. So let's see how they gonna connect real quick. Let me see. Rhonda, soul flame. Rediscover a lost part of yourself. Experience relationship, harmony, and healing. The Hindu goddess Radha is the divine feminine counterpart and twin flame of Krishna. <laughs> she is considered to represent Shakta. Shakti, the divine feminine creative spirit of the universal life force. Without the feminine, the male cannot be created. And for this reason, Shakti is a powerful force that is honored and cherished. Radha is completely devoted to her partner and in illustrates the age-old adage, behind every powerful man is a powerful woman. She is dedicated to supporting all those who seek relationship, harmony, and healing. At one point, she learned what it is like to be separated from Krishna, and so she can also bring great healing to those who are suffering the loss of a partner or separation. Mm. Extended message. Loving union, connection, and relationship harmony are key at this time. It's important to remember, though, that relationships won't make you whole. Only your own love can do that. You know that you now have opportunities to find lost parts of yourself, maybe sensual aspects or the cap capacity to cherish yourself. The relationships around you will then begin to reflect the love you have for yourself. Increase romance, love, and opportunities to express divine harmony through love are all becoming apparent in your life. You deserve divine love, and rather with her shakti presence, is here to awaken this loving connection within you now. Mm. Wow. Thank you, Radha. Thank you, Mahavar. Bye. Bring us any guidance, healing, activations, or anything else you want to bring us. Radha, please help us rediscover the lost parts of ourselves and heal them back and integrate them into our, the most whole and purest form. Thank you. So let's dive into this next section. You see it, she added in something about separation. And so the first call we had was the Queen of Swords. A thought leader, unbiased decision making, an excellent communicator, wise and logical counsel, integrity and honesty, being perceptive, intelligent, being direct, seeking truth. In shadow, it can be sharp and sometimes cold communication. Strive to use your words wisely and to refrain from being mean or emotional. Indifference, a message to use your head more and your heart less, aloofness, bitterness. Highly astute, intellectual, and honest, she watches calmly over her kingdom. Graceful and logical, her wisdom is framed into truth and proof, and she avoids the gossip or fluff that others may want to hear. She asks you to be honest in your relationships, direct in your speech, and witty if you want to be. But above all, to bring your clear-headed, unbiased reasoning to the table. Sometimes this communication style can come across as cold or cutting. So if you're having trouble communicating something that is difficult for another person to hear, know that, that you can always dip your toe into the cup of empathy and compassion to help with your delivery. Sharp analysis and careful consideration are always intelligent moves, as is being able to clearly connect with others in a way that is essentially, I mean, easily accepted and understood. A clear heart and clear mind will allow you to speak your truth always. I speak with wisdom and clarity. Wisdom and clarity. And we had the six of swords. Crossing transitions. Helping arriving at the perfect time, rites of passage, healing, moving beyond trauma or shadows of the past, support from others, personal evolution, a spiritual transitional journey. In shadow, it could be difficulties, accepting help, resistance to change, or, or, ooh, or do is transitions, carrying baggage and weight from your past. You are moving through a period of realignment and things can feel turbulent during these times of transition. Trust, there's, trust that a better future awaits you on the other side of this change. Maybe you're going through a rite of passage or an intense spiritual transformation. These experiences are profoundly personal and you may feel alone right now. Even when it is difficult to accept assistance from others, remain open to receiving help from the most unexpected of places. Allow the general 
gentle support of the universe to move through this ocean of evolution and lean towards silver linings on the horizon. More sunshine, yes please. Sometimes we find ourselves adrift because we think we are ready to move on, but our heart is still anchored to the past. What old chapter needs to be closed? Chase guidance in the form of renewed hope and get ready to explore first beginnings on the opposite shore. I accept help as I easily cross this transition. I ain't gonna say nothing. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't got too much to say. <laughs> Cause it's hit me so hard that I understand it. Um, last card, or this three card, then we got one card that generalizes the whole three card spread. Uh, Eight of Swords. Feeling stuck. A time to open your eyes to unveil the truth. Having more options than you thought. An opportunity to let go of an old story. In Shadow, it can be being a victim, feeling un helpless. Using your stories or past experiences as excuses to remain shackled. This is a general reminder a reminder that you create your reality. Look beyond the veil of illusion that you create limitations that your current limitations are projecting. If you are feeling trapped with no path forward, remember that this too is a perspective that can be lifted. When you choose sovereignty over victimhood, you become the fierce wielder of choice. Choice. You can free yourself from your shackles and shift your outcome dramatically by accepting that you are the one person who is responsible for your happiness. Create infinite portals of possibility by becoming the solution. We are never really stuck. Nurture your soul and spend the, some time you need to transmute any feelings of helplessness. While we can't control every experience that is put on our path, we can definitely work on how we respond to each one. Let go of old stories and be vigilant of any wallowing, low vibe thoughts that you may be holding on to. Reframe your experiences as lessons and choose and choose to heal. I am free to choose my healing and my life. You ain't stuck. But our thoughts will whew, put your ass in prison. Last card to generalize the whole spirit, the moon. Illusions. So Really, this whole thing is telling me that like ascending beyond the illusions and limitations we created for ourselves and picking the pieces up of yourself. That's really what it's saying. The moon, illusions, hitting truths, the unknown, trusting your intuition, facing your fears, the watery nature of the unconscious mind, mystery, symbolism, and met symbolism and metaphor, perception, uncertain and dreams in shadows it could be fears that block you difficulties separating reality and illusion linear thinking inability to process a spiritual or mystical experience mental confusion misinterpretation anxiety and fear when we're faced with uncertainty and illusion it can feel like we are drowning trust that you will be okay even if you can't seem to distinguish up from down right now when you stop struggling and see that which you simply cannot see because it remains obscured, obscured behind shadows of the moonlight, you will experience a deep release that will allow you to float to the surface of your truth. The moon card asks you to go within and find comfort in the darkness and to listen and to calmly listen to the whispers of your own intuition. There is divinity and magic here. When you fall into the moon still waters, your inner wisdom will embrace you and push you towards the light. She will re reinvigorate your creativity and reach Reserve your spark as long as you go beyond your own fears and find her. Dive into her healing embrace. Breathe past insecurities and let her dimly lit magic guide you home. I am safe and I reach new levels of unconscious knowing as I surrender to the will of the universe. Expansion and soul igniting. Thank you for tapping in. It's your boy Spirit Baby Kid. Spirit Baby Kid everywhere. Insomnia Dreams 369.com for personal message and other things. Tap in. Thank you.